Hi, I'm Dick Bacher and we're in Manitick Station. You're now looking at some solar panels that my wife and I installed as an investment for our, uh, I guess, upcoming retirement at some point. We installed these in June under the Ontario Feed-In Tariff, which is the first piece of legislation I'm aware of in North America that allows people to make an investment in renewable energy that provides them with a predictable and reliable income stream over a 20-year contract period. The equipment that you see will last over 30 years, but there's 20 years where there's a revenue stream that's uh, predicted and guaranteed. Therefore, my wife and I have invested in this as a financial investment, not necessary to save the world or anything like that, although there are side benefits that are good for everyone else as well. We're now inside the barn. This is the barn that my wife and I operate our seasonal retail business called Third World Bazaar. Outside I showed you these solar panels. There's two rows of 24 solar panels per row. Each row of panels produces power, of course, that comes into the barn on two cables, DC power. It goes to an inverter that converts the DC power to AC power. And then from each inverter, it's brought to a combiner, which then connects to a cable which goes outside to the grid. We're now outside of the barn. The power comes through this wall along this line here to my disconnect. Should there be a problem? If, should there be a problem, then the power here can be isolated from the grid. Then it goes to my meter and all of this power is sold to the grid. None of it is for my purposes. There's no battery here. There's no expensive 10-year battery that has to be topped up and monitored and played with. Everything that I produce is sold to the grid. And when I turn a light on or if I have a need for power, I buy it with this meter. So I actually have two meters, one selling, one buying. Since I've turned this system on, uh, June 23rd, 2010, we've produced 63,038 kilowatts of power. That's about $5,000 in six months. Of those six months, two of them are the lowest producing months of the year, October and November. So I'm on track to make about $10,000 in this year, and that's on a $71,000 investment. So I can't get a return like that from any other financial instruments and I don't have to invest in a fossil fuel dividend paying company. I'm investing my own money in my own infrastructure and in my own capital asset that is employing people in this community rather than sending it off to England to invest in BP, for example, that then has an oil problem in the Gulf of Mexico and doesn't pay dividends because of. Another key aspect of solar that people should be aware of and isn't mentioned much is the fact that I can only produce power when the sun shines. Almost every bit of power that our solar panels produce is consumed by my brother in the store next to me. His peak demand time is when his air conditioning units, his heaters, his coolers, his refrigeration units are all turned on, which is generally in the uh, sunny time of the summer. We're here offsetting power that would normally have to be produced and shipped to this little hamlet Manitick Station. Manitick Station is now producing power in the peak load. We're offsetting expensive power that has to be turned on in Almont or Toronto or some other place far away and then has to be shipped here which has line loss between 8 to 12 percent normally up to 30 percent in the peak demand time. Because we produce peak load we're reducing that line loss and we're reducing it at the most expensive time and we're offsetting very expensive power. So that is good for the taxpayers of Ontario and it's good for the, the, the climate and the weather and all sorts of side effects. It happens to be good for our family as well.